Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Happy October. It's officially spooky season. Well, in the theme parks in Orlando, it's been spooky season for a while now, but officially to me, October is the start of spooky season. Yes, Halloween time is here, but since it's the beginning of October, it's time for the construction update video around Walt Disney World. And I start these videos every single time over here at Disney Springs. That's where I am right now. But before we get started, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and thumbs the video up right now. Also, go ahead and follow my Instagram at MarcusQ.MQ. You can DM me there, ask me questions, video suggestions, anything like that. But yeah, let's get this started. There's not a whole lot over here happening at Disney Springs right now. But we can go check on a few things. First new thing that we have in Disney Springs is all of these Fall Into Magic little signs and banners have popped up all around Disney Springs. But yeah, there's a bunch of these little photo opportunities. I'm not sure how new these are, but I just noticed them like uh, the other day. So yeah. Here they are. And one of the coolest new additions to Disney Springs is this new mural that they just painted right across from Paddlefish is right over here. Here's Terratina Italiana right here. And uh, yeah, this awesome new mural of the Orange Bridge right here. And if you guys know about Walt Disney World history, then you probably know about the orange bird and then over here on the west side just like i told you guys in the last update video um bongo's right here the cuban cafe uh closed down last month and uh, it's making way for this new restaurant called beatrix and they just put up all of these construction walls right here just right across from beatrix right just as i speculated the ample hills creamery that uh is coming to disney springs is coming right here to where the something silver store was so this is where you're going to be able to get all of your ice cream treats once it opens and of course you may recognize that name because it's a very popular place at the boardwalk all right that's actually going to do it here from disney springs but now let's head to the magic kingdom all right guys here we are at the magic kingdom and as you may know, they are doing a whole lot of construction over here at the entrance, um, right before you actually go through the ticketing. So uh, yeah, there's so many uh, things going on. They're removing all of these bricks right here. They're redoing a bunch of stuff. So there's a lot of construction right now. Also something that's happening, you guys see the Grand Floridian Resort back here. Um, they are actually making a walkway from the Grand Floridian so you can walk to the Magic Kingdom. I'm not sure if they used to have a walkway um, and they got rid of it or if this is the first time that they're doing it. But now, once this is completed, you're gonna be able to walk from every single resort around Seven Seas Lagoon. Also, something that's happening over at the Grand Floridian, um, there used to be a lounge, the Meisner's Lounge on the second floor of the Grand Floridian, and as well as some other things, but they are converting that into a Beauty and the Beast themed lounge. It's called the Enchanted Rose Lounge, and that's gonna be opening in fall of this year. If you guys have seen my newest video from over at Animal Kingdom, it should have been the one before this one. Um, you would know that entertainment cuts are happening all around Walt well, Disney World right now. And one of the things that is going to be leaving is the Muppets, a history show in Liberty Square. This show right here will be leaving very soon. Come along, everyone. On October 6th is uh, when the projected closing date of the Muppets show is supposed to be. I'll be talking about a few more entertainment cuts a little bit later in this video. The other updates here in the Magic Kingdom take us over into Tomorrowland and you guys have probably seen this already but as of the new construction update video this right here is new. The Tomorrowland entrance sign I think it looks very good. I think it goes along with the aesthetic of Tomorrowland very nicely and uh, yeah I really like this especially in nighttime. The next thing here in Tomorrowland is that the Astro Orbiter is back up and running. It was down for a pretty long refurbishment that was unplanned but now it is back up and running and you can go hop aboard the Astro Orbiter. Also in Tomorrowland Mickey Star Traders is actually under refurbishment but good news is it's still open. You've just got to enter through the side closest to Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. And you can see all of the construction walls in here. About one third of the uh, store is closed off right now. And I'm sure that once this part is done, then they're going to move to different sections until they've completed all of it. But I bet they're going to get rid of all of this up here 
and all of these uh, types of style and make it more like how they are converting into Tomorrowland with that streamlined white look just like how Space Mountain is and just like how the new Tomorrowland entrance sign is. But yeah guys that is it from the Magic Kingdom but now we're gonna head on the monorail to Epcot because we have some things to look at from the monorail. But like I said there's a lot of entertainment cuts happening in Disney World right now. It's, it's sad to see some of these things go. I don't really know why these entertainment cuts are happening but there's actually kind of a lot. And here is actually the walkway that you're gonna be walking on from the Grand Floridian over here all the way to the Magic Kingdom. And I'm pretty excited for this. I can't wait to be able to walk all around this resort. So on our left right here, we're gonna be able to see some of the construction that's happening over here at the TTC. They're doing a whole bunch of stuff, tearing up all of this ground right here. There's some bad news. I got on a monorail that has the Toy Story wrapping on it. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see out of here when we go to Epcot. And for those of you wondering, this is the problem with these wrappings, especially on the Skyliner, because you can't see out of it too great. All right, so we're coming up on the Epcot construction over here in the front of the park. Here's some Guardians of the Galaxy coaster. Updates. Coming up, not too much we can see. Is that Toy Story monorail is terrible. You can't see anything out of there. Anyways, here we are at Epcot finally. I was trying to film over here to see if I could see any uh, updates for the new fires that are going up, but I didn't really see anything. But I did see something over here this way that made me a little bit sad so let's go check that out okay guys so right now future world and epcot is pretty much just a construction zone it seems like along with the construction at the front of the park we have this construction going on on the side of spaceship earth i don't really know what's going on right here there's just a huge pile of dirt okay so i'm sure as most of you know uh this whole section right here we have the fountain is gone Fountain View Starbucks is gone and Club Cool is gone. They even removed the sign right here since the last time I was here. And this huge construction wall is here. Sad times. Sad, yes, but also exciting for the future. Okay, so we are coming up upon what actually made me sad. And it's confirmed, it's true. Over here, the Gardens of the Galaxy coaster, the awesome construction wall is gone. Check this out. The wall now comes all the way out here. You can't even walk around anymore. And it just keeps going like this all the way around. This is very sad. That construction wall was the greatest construction wall I had ever seen in my life. If they get rid of like these mounds right here, I'm gonna be a little bit upset because I really loved those. I hope, I hope they don't because that was awesome. I don't think I've ever been sad to see a construction wall go. This is what I mean when I say Epcot, especially Future World right now is a construction zone, especially Future World East over here. This whole area is blocked off. We have this area by Test Track that goes all the way around. We have the construction over where the fountain was in the Starbucks. That, those construction walls that I showed you by Test Track come all the way out here by the little lagoon across from the odyssey building so that is a lot a lot of construction and speaking of the odyssey building this actually is turning into the epcot preview center and it should be opening within the next couple of days probably by the time you see this video it'll already be up but they have added some cool painting along the odyssey building and so basically what you're going to be able to do in this preview center is just see everything that is coming to epcot and they're doing some previews right now and from the pictures and videos that i've seen they did a really good job of setting everything up so that people are ready for this epcot change also guys a big update but not construction related crowds are back crowds are officially back here at disney world as of this past week before that every single park was empty but now they have returned and they will be here probably until the beginning of January. All right, so you guys remember how I told you that there was entertainment cuts being happening over here at Walt Disney World? Well, over here in Mexico, the Mariachi Cobre right here used to have a show with Coco, the story of Coco. Well, that is now gone. As of September 28th, that show is no more. You can no longer see that show. You can just see the regular Mariachi Cobre over here. Just a word of advice. 
if you want to come to the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, uh, weekends are probably not the time to do that. It is the busiest time for this festival. Locals are here. Um, Everybody is here. It is just not a great time to come. Weekdays early in the afternoon is probably the best time to get everything that you need to get done here at the Food and Wine Festival. And then that brings us to France. Over here, Impressions de France, that's actually going to be closing on October 2nd um, for a refurbishment. It's going to be a, a new film, I believe. But yeah, as you guys know, the France Pavilion is the country over here in Epcot that is going through the most change right here, especially back here. I'm about to show you guys that from the Skyliner. And speaking of over here, the International Gateway right here actually just opened. It was under construction for a long time, but I do still see some construction walls over this way, kind of towards the Skyliner. And guys, probably the biggest construction update of them all is the Disney Skyliner is now up and running fully for all guests. Now, I actually did a vlog from these from a preview and I also did a history video about the Skyliner and the Skyway buckets that were here at the Magic Kingdom and Disneyland way long ago. Here we are in our cabin and I'm gonna show you guys some of the uh, France construction from the sky. Right here we go, we can see the France construction right here. It actually looks like they've done a lot of cement work over so here. This one goes over to and then Riviera. back here, of course, hey, here go, we're gonna one. have the France, the Ratatouille hey. ride hey. is right hey. here. And then I believe this building back here, I think that's gonna be the Crepery restaurant over this here. And we're actually going to get a really good view of the Riviera Resort from here. You can see how far along it's come. And I'll show you guys the pool and everything once we get up in the sky. We can see like the Riviera actually has two pools. So one is right over here with the slide and then there's another one back here. Yeah, there's a better view of that second pool right there. They pretty much have this whole front area done right here I think. And actually, once you get off the Caribbean Beach Station, there's a uh, brand new Joffrey's Coffee right here. Uh, and they have actually a uh, new drink special for the Skyline. It's like called Take Flight or something. It has toffee in it, and that drink is so good. But guys, doesn't it just seem like the other day when I was over here looking at the Caribbean Beach Station right here, uh, waiting for this to open, checking out all the construction, and now it's finally open. I've made it to Hollywood Studios, and this whole part right here is new, I believe. We had to go over here for the bag check and everything. I think this is brand new. I can tell right here the floors are sparkling. Um, but we have a couple things to check out over here in Hollywood Studios. All right, so a big update. First thing when we come into the park is right here, Mickey's of Hollywood is now open. So now the whole left side of this park right here, the main entrance, all the shops are now open. Let's go take a look inside. And it looks so nice. Everything's all 1920s, early 1900s Hollywood. Looks really, really good in here. Wow, this might actually be my favorite park gift shop. This one is super, super nice, great theming. Everything is great, clean, floors are really nice. Look at this, high quality. This is the real deal right here. Let's check out the other shop, Keystone Clothers right here, cause it's also new. Wow, this one's also very nice. It doesn't have as many things as uh, Mickey's of Hollywood, but this one is very nice still. And this one, this Keystone Clothers actually is just primarily a Star Wars gift shop. So you can buy all of your Star Wars merch in here without actually having to go into Galaxy's Edge. You can get lightsabers, robes, any Star Wars necessities that you need. They even have a DJ Rex. And our last update of the day brings us over here across from the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular, right where Star Wars Path of the Jedi is. And this is where a new attraction is rumored to go. It's going to be called Mickey Shorts Theater. It's going to be showing all kinds of Mickey Mouse cartoons. And this is where people think that it is going to go because it's currently not being used for anything. Um, Star Wars Path of the Jedi actually hasn't been playing in some time now. And so now pretty soon we'll be able to come over here and watch all kinds of your favorite Mickey Mouse cartoons.
all right guys that's gonna do it for this construction update video we hit three theme parks plus disney springs plus we got to see some of the skyliner that was awesome so if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up i do these videos at the beginning of every single month so make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of these videos and let me know down below what at epcot you are most excited about coming in the future because epcot right now is basically a construction zone so let me know down below what you're most excited about thank you guys very much for watching it's kind of fun to do the impossible and i'll see you guys on the next video